seven. One two. One seven. Good, this. Reflections. This is a light box, and with it, you can see the shape made by other shapes when they overlap. Like two triangles overlapping. That's the overlap. triangles, back to back as you'd see them in a mirror. 
there are the triangles. And there's the overlap. Two triangles, back to back, as you'd see them in a mirror. And that's the overlap. another part of the story about the mad mathematician who's reflecting on a seemingly impossible task. The mathematician opened a weary eye to the world. He had been awake most of the previous night calculating how many men would be needed to carry water to keep the king's bath full now that someone had lost the bath plug. He sat up with a start. Today was the day he would be given his second really difficult task. Otherwise... Off with his head! <laughs> he hurried to the Chamberlain's office, counting his steps as he walked. He often counted as he walked, and today was to be no exception. <clears throat> the King has decided... Said the Chamberlain. ...that you will draw a bunch of balloons. Oh, that's easy, thought the mathematician. Halfway out of the door. Uh, but... Continued the Chamberlain. You can only draw these balloons using straight lines. The mathematician looked puzzled at first. But then a smile crept across his face. Next day, in the throne room, the king, the princess and the members of his household gathered to see what the mathematician had made of his difficult task. Balloons! Look, Your Majesty, one, two, three balloons, said the princess. The king looked. Off with his head, roared the king. They're not straight lines, he's broken the rules. Oh, about you, Your Majesty, insisted the mathematician. That is exactly what they are. They, they are straight lines. May I be allowed to explain? Oh, yes, he must explain, said the chamberlain. And so the king agreed. Imagine the surface of the paper to be made up of hundreds of lines, said the mathematician. This time they are all straight lines, going this way, that way, and always. Next, I remove all the lines except those which frame the outlines of the balloons. And finally, I take away the ends of those lines, leaving the balloons on their own. Really? Said the king, who still wasn't sure how lots of straight lines could suddenly become curved. But they were certainly drawings of balloons. We shall see how you get on next week, when things will be even more difficult. Said the king, as he went to lunch. There. You know how I'm counting. Can you work it out? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Counting in fives. Absolutely right. And that's what this abacus is doing. It's counting in fives. <laughs> Wash, <laughs> wash,
with a sheet of carbon paper underneath. Oh, wait a minute. It's usually the other way up, isn't it? That's right. Huh. Now, if you just... Uh... That's it. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Now, keep still. Oh, all right. that I drew. Yes. And this one is the carbon copy. Ah, yes, but why have you cut them each in half? Ah, oh, well, you see, when you swap them over, pull that one out. Uh-huh. That one. <laughs> I see. There. Hmm. <laughs> They're not a bit like me, though, are they? I think I like uh, this one best. This one? Oh, I don't know. Which do you prefer? <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. That reminds me of somebody, though. <laughs> 